And we back. Yesterday, Russell Westbrook got traded to the Lakers. Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, all on the same team. It's kind of crazy you really think about it. If you want to know my full opinions about this trade, go check out my second channel, man. I dropped a full 10-minute length video talking about it. But today, I'm here to complete the retooling. Two years ago, or I guess last year, technically, they rose the trophy, the Lakers we're, we're winners of the entire league. Then this year, they get eliminated in the first round. Now, I know a lot of that had to do with injuries. And they started to do this retooling, right? They did a little bit of retooling, traded away some pieces to get another star caliber player on Russell Westbrook. Obviously, the job's not finished. The job's not done. And that's what I come in to come complete the retooling of the LA Lakers. Because when you got LeBron 36, you got Russell Westbrook 32 going on 33. Ain't, ain't no waiting period, baby. We got to jump right in to win a championship immediately. And I'm here to make that happen. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. All of these people left comments in the last video. And as always, we appreciate you. So as of right now, this is what my roster looks like. Bron, AD, Westbrook, Marcus Saul, Afonso McKinney. That's it. That's it. And the crazy thing is we have... LeBron James making all let's let's take a look at some money. Let's take a look 41 35 Where's Russell 44? There's not a lot of cap space to make things happen now in real life There's reports that there's a lot of young players that are willing to take or uh, older players that are willing to take pay cuts and come play with the Lakers That'll probably happen in real life, but in the game of 2k I can't call up some older players and say hey take this pay cut to play with us So we have to try to work our way around it I'm not telling you this is a hyper realistic rebuild My job is just to get the Lakers back to the promised land like they were a couple years ago So keep that in mind um, we also have the rights of Talonhorn Tucker, who's in restricted free agency. He'll probably come back to the team. But the rest, my job is to get shooting around these dudes. Right now, LeBron James is a B-plus at their best shooter on the team. And we're talking about an 82-3 for Bron, 72 for AD, 80 for Marcus Gasol, 82 for Alfonso McKinney, Russell Westbrook at a 75. We need way more shooting on this team. So with the money that I do have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that Andre Drummond is going to walk. And I need to sign a bunch of shooters. I'm going to do what Anthony Davis don't want to do. Anthony Davis never want to run the center position. In this video, you're going to play center because we need spacing, Anthony. I can't have you on the court with another center, even though Marcus Gasol is a good center when it comes to spacing the floor. Nah. Marcus Gasol is 36. He's probably going to be a 30. Oh, he's 36. He's probably going to be a 75 overall once we enter next season. He's old. So you're going to run a center position. LeBron is probably moving over to the four. That allows me to have a shooting guard and a small four that can space the floor for LeBron and Russell Westbrook to do their magic. That is my thinking. Now, when we hit free agency for the first time, um, we are $20 million over the cap. And we won't have a lot of money. Drummond already got offers from the Raptors and the Hornets. So he can he can go. We're not <laughs> we're definitely not giving Drummond a hundred mil. That's just not that's not in our plans. We still do have the bird rights to Dennis Schroeder. Now, I don't want to bring Dennis Schroeder back. But I, this is not a real thing in the game of 2K. But I'm thinking if we do bring Dennis Schroeder back just because we have the bird rights, it's a little sign and trade opportunity. Now, I don't know what other team would want Dennis Schroeder as a point guard, a backup, a starter. I don't know. But if I can sign him and I can trade him, that's a W. Now, you're looking at me, Kenny, what's going on? Um, with the draft, as I'm recording this video, the NBA draft literally just ended. Shams is tweeting about players that didn't get drafted that's already getting contracts. Shout out to them. So I loaded in a 2K scenario that got most of the draft pieces right. So we got K, Jalen Gray, Evan Mobley on their right teams. But once we get to like late in the first round, you're going to see some things that aren't right. But I didn't think that mattered too much. I don't think that mattered too much. Like Keon Johnson is on the Knicks, even though in real life, well, in his jersey, he's rocking the Clippers. So... Everything is not perfect is the point I'm making to you. I don't think that matters in this video, but once we get to like future videos where it does matter, it will be right. But we are literally five minutes away from ending the, the NBA draft, so nobody has it completely right. But whoever's working on this roster... Oh, okay, so they got this wrong because this dude is a bull. <laughs> Man got drafted during, during a, a Papa John's commercial, so you know he gonna be golden in real life. They compared him to Spud Webb and Michael Carter-Williams. That's a very big, big difference. Spud Webb, like one of the shortest players of all time. Michael Carter Williams, one of the taller point guards of all time. I don't know. All right, none of that really matters. Hypothetically, hypothetically, if we did a sign and trade with Dennis Schroeder, making about $12 million, what team do we see 
wanting a player like Dennis Schroeder, whether it be for starting position or backup position at the point guard position. The Celtics need a point guard, but they don't have anything that they'd be willing to give me, I don't think. Tristan Thompson? I don't need Tristan Thompson. I promise you we'll be good if we don't have Tristan Thompson. So, like, I need to find a team that would need a point guard, but that'll also have something to give us back that we could use. And that's tough. I feel like most teams have their point guards. It's it's hard to find a team without a good point guard or two. Is Jeremy Lamb an option? 80 overall, making $10 million a year. Aaron Holiday got traded in real life. And like I said, that don't matter too much. They don't really have a backup point guard. I'm going to see what's up with that. Like I said, this ain't supposed to be a hyper-realistic one. Um, So it's probably, like I said, it's it's probably wouldn't happen in real life. But let's 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 talk to the Pacers. Ten million dollars, ten million dollars. They're saying no. They want Marcus Saul. They give us back O'Shea Brissett. I don't think that's even close to realistic. Um, because he's a he's a player for them at twenty three years old, and they didn't need another center considering they got they still have Miles Turner and they got Gogo Badazzi still. So instead. We'll entice them with some of these picks that we got. The Mavericks pick. They still want Marcus Gasol. They want to give us Aaron Holiday, who, again, don't really play for them in real life. I don't know what Aaron Holiday got traded to. I'm going to Google it. But I know for sure Aaron Holiday got traded to them. The Wizards. Not too bad of a pickup for the Wizards. You love to see that. You love to see it. All right. So I'll just be, I'll just be like, hey, man, the Wizards gave us two second-round picks and the Russell Westbrook trade. We'll give you both of those. They want to find some McKinney, bro. Keep McKinney. Just, just do this trade. I don't want to take O'Shea. I don't want to take O'Shea from you, bro. Why do you want the better? Want to give me the better player? I'll give you another second. I mean, come on, dog. I, I could have just accepted. Yes, I could have just accepted their one trade of taking away. <laughs> taking away O'Shea. But, like, that just didn't feel right with me. While I'm here, I'm making LeBron a power forward point guard. I'm making Anthony Davis a, a center power forward. Yes, both of their overall wheels go down a, a decent amount, but I'm not tripping about it. Anthony Davis now 91, LeBron's a 96. Now that allows Jeremy Lamb to start at the three, I sign James Ennis, which I think can come off the bench and give us a lot of buckets. I legit might even start James Ennis and Jeremy Lamb together, but I don't like that defensive wing position for them. So I'm going to go out there and sign a shooting guard. I think Tyler Horn Tucker low key is going to start a shooting guard for us this season. Um, I believe in him, and I don't like he gonna get no offers, so he'll be a low key steal for us on this one year deal. But I do need to sign another shooting guard. I need somebody that can defend and shoot. Is old thirty two year old Kim Bazemore the the call? B plus B plus from three. Kim Bazemore had a solid season. I'll I'll call up Kim Bazemore agent. I would love to sign um, P J Tucker, but I just know at thirty six years old he's gonna regress so bad this year. So bad. And I need a backup four. I don't hate our offseason, man. Talahorn Tucker's back on the 1-9. LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook, the big three. We brought in Jeremy Lamb. Marcus Saul coming off the bench with James Ennis, who will also come off the bench. We brought in uh, 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 Alizé Johnson because we need it. We need some young blood in this locker room, man. 36, 28, 32, 29, 36, 31. We needed some young bucks. Alice Caruso is back. Fonzo McKinney is here. I like our roster. I, th I think we did a decent job considering we didn't have much to really mess around with this offseason. Um, how many camps are we going to have? How many camps? Three. All right, first thing, I'm taking Tyler Horn Tucker, send him to potential camp. That'll help us. I'm sending Russell Westbrook to shooting camp because we're going to need that. And I'm sending LeBron to shooting camp too. I sent him to offensive fundamentals camp. LeBron might be the most fundamentally sound player of all time. And I'm talking about here. Go go work on your fundamentals, Bron. Come on, bro. All right, so they want to start Bays. I'm going to start Talonhorn Tucker at the two. And I think his overall might drop if I make him a shooting guard officially. But you got to do what you got to do sometimes. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. So I'm digging what we working with right now. We got Russ. We got Talonhorn Tucker. Jeremy Lamb. Braun. I'm going to take a little bit of Braun minutes away. I don't want him to get too too crazy. also need Alex Caruso to get some minutes because why, why, what's the point of having Caruso on your team if you're not giving Caruso the minutes? You know what I'm saying? Caruso's a, a defender. He's a bucket. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. My sixth man is going to be James Ennis. We have Kim Bazemore. 
I'm liking what we got right now. I'm going to get Tyler Horn Tucker and Jeremy Lamb a little bit more minutes. Boom. What y'all thinking? Are we a championship team right now? Russ, THT, Lamb, Braun, AD. And the first game is against the Clippers? What did they do? They put Terrence Mann in the lineup. Oh, because Kawhi's injured. Did he resign, though? That's the real thing. I know he's injured. Um, It does not look like he resigned. They got Hassan Whiteside to replace him, though. So, win for the, the almighty Lake Show. Braun, Russell Westbrook with a triple-double. And he hit three threes. New development. New development. Russell Westbrook is going to come into this season and shoot 35% from three. If he shoots 35% from three, we win in the championship easily. Easily win in the championship if Russell Westbrook can do that. Now, with this being a, a, a challenge about the Lakers and their new big three, my goal is to win a championship with this big three. Russ is low-key killing it through two months of the, two weeks of the season. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I'm gonna go to like the the trade deadline because I do want to I do want to be buyers at the deadline. I know there's gonna be some teams out there that are selling some quality pieces, and I don't have much to trade, but I'm gonna make it work. We go we gonna snag somebody at the deadline. We're the one seed, 36 and 12, looking good. We had a couple losses in the row up here that I don't really like, and our job is to get the team even better. Let's take a look at some statistics. LeBron is averaging 36, nine and seven. Uh, 24.7, 11 and 4. Marcus Alvin, Kevin Marcus Alvin. What is Russ averaging? 27. 27, 10 and 8. And 42% from three. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody's complaining that there's no spacing in LA. I didn't touch his three point shot, as you see. He's just hitting them. He knows what his new role is, and he's playing. He's shooting better than Jeremy Lamb, and I got Jeremy Lamb for his shooting ability. That's actually a W. Um, I need that to stay up throughout the playoffs. Talent not playing amazing. They probably took his minutes down. Watch. Oh, no, he's still starting. He's just not playing great. Okay, 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 okay. Our job is to go to see what teams are selling or rebuilding and trying to snag some pieces for the low. First of all, I'm looking for selling. Okay, the Thunder are selling, but they don't have anything that they can help us right now. At least in our price range. They actually have a decent amount of okay players. Like, I can't, I can't make a Marcus Mark trade. It just won't happen. It won't work out. Another team that's selling this Timberwolves. Just don't think they got I, I don't mean, I don't think I got it to make any deals with them. Um, Jalen Noel, what, is, what are you looking like this season, big fella? Not amazing. I, I, even if I were to make a trade, I don't really know what I'm looking for. Who, who is Jay Butler or Gerard Butler? I'm like, yo. Yo, or is it Jared Butler? I don't know. Any other teams that are selling? Okay, the Jazz are selling. That's interesting to me. But similar to what I said, they don't really have much for me to even buy. Our three-point shooting still isn't great. We're about league average, which is cool, I guess, as far as how many we made. Percentage-wise, we're top 10. We just don't have a lot of players that's taking a lot of them. But that's that's okay. We're dead last in free throw percentage. Rebounded-wise, we are top 10, number 11. That's offensive rebound, defensive rebounding. We're number one. Like, I, overall, we rounded number three. Assisting, we're number one. Steals, we're number two, number three. Blocks, we're number one. Like, as much as I want to go in, as much as I want to go in and make some trades, bro, like, we're playing extremely well. Like, extremely, extremely well. I feel like I'd be crazy to make any moves unless it's, like, super small, like, end of the rotation. So, who's at the end of our rotation? Um, Alice Caruso, who's playing fine. Alizé, who's playing fine. Marcus Gasol is literally on fire right now. So it's like, as much as I want to be buyers right now, I'm just not seeing it. Most of our players are on fire. If anything, it's like THT at 21 years old hasn't shown us anything. So maybe we flip them. First of all, they got my boy Shot Tennessee at a 28. 28. The average is a 74. They have it at a 28. I might trade THT, man. I don't even know if I can. Does he have a new trade clause? He does have a no trade clause, so he'd have to approve it. But let's see what we can get. Alex Lynn, I'd rather keep THT. Yeah, man, I legit think we just let it ride, bro. We just let it ride. As much as we want to be buyers at this deadline, it doesn't like we're going to be. Just not the right situation. Regular C. <laughs> Yo. Hey, listen, nobody said 2K was a realistic game. Russ came to LA and said, I got us. This is my team now. 26, 8, and 10 is getting him the MVP award. 
He shot 39% from three, which is the greatest three-point shooting performance of his entire career. 40, I mean, 55% from the field is the greatest field goal percentage of his entire career. And it happened as soon as he hit LA. That's what good weather can do, bro. That's what good weather can do. That's all I'm saying. Um, we didn't get coach of the year, though. Willie Green, huh? Okay. So we got all NBA first team on LeBron James as well, who averages about the same numbers that we saw earlier. He also shot 46% from three. No big deal. Anthony Davis is the, the uh, second team center. Is he going to be on the defensive team too? Yep, defensive first team. I just, listen, the game of 2K is not realistic. I knew going into this video that rebuilding, retooling the Lakers with Russell Westbrook was going to be a breeze because as long as you have high overall players on your team, you're going to be successful. But I do like to see our big three all average 25 plus. They all rebounded extremely well. You don't look for Anthony Davis for playmaking, but he was a pretty good playmaker for himself, averaging about four, which is like the second highest of, of his career. First round, we're going against Portland, who have the same team, but now Kelly Olenek at the four. Anthony, you know what? I'm not even going through this. Let's shorten this rotation, bro. I'm shortening the rotation. Who are we cutting? Who's going to cut out the rotation? Oh, my God, Alizé. 16%. I know it's only three games in, but 16%. Come on, bro. We got to be better. So I put Russ up to 41 Braun up to 39. Actually, I'm putting both of them at 40. And, yeah, I'm sorry, Alizé. You guys to go, bro. We got enough bigger players on the team anyway. We don't need another backup four for the playoffs. 2-2 two -two series now. Take Alizé out the lineup, and Anthony Davis dropped 52. No big deal. 3-2. Our big three is elite. 2K-wise, this, this team in 2K22 is going to be fun just because that big three is going to score a ton of points together. A ton of points. All right, now we're going against the Warriors, though. The Warriors are nice, bro. They got Jonathan Kaminga at the three. He's up to an 80 overall already. This is a series, bro. This is going to be a really good series. Game one is the Lakers win, though. A good one, too. Russell Westbrook, our MVP, averages a triple-double or puts up a triple-double. Same thing with LeBron James. Game two is the Lakers win as well. LeBron with the 24-11, 16-5 game, only one turnover. He did shoot nine for 31, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we won a game where our star player shot 9 for 31 and 3 for 19 from 3. Oh, my God. Russ is low-key shooting the ball so well. Oh, my God. Steph Curry and them, they ain't stand a chance. C cut it out. Complete sweep. Now we're going against the Pels. This is Coach Willie Green, Coach of the Year, first year. Josh Richardson is on the team now. Okay, this is the first look I got at the Pels with Jonas Valanciunas on the roster. Game one is the Lakers win, though, because they don't have an answer for Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis has been guarded by Valanciunas. That's grub session. That's grub session, AD. Come on. Who would have thought... Okay, there it is. That's the game. Who would have thought that our biggest competition would be in the first round? <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're going to a game seven in the conference finals. Okay, all right. Alex Caruso. Low-key, Alex Caruso's hooping. I don't want to take his minutes away. I got to take Marcus Gasol's minutes down a little bit. Um, Anthony Davis is playing so well. Let's give him to AD. Jay Lamb. Brian, it's a game seven, bro. I'm, I'm up your minutes just for this game seven. Don't, don't let us down. Don't let us down. Okay, that's a big lead. We're straight. We're good. We're good. Sorry, Marky Mark. We had to cut you out that rotation for this game seven, bro. He was just too old. Zion was giving you the work. And we gave those minutes to Brian, and he put up 54 of those things. So... Trust LeBron when you need a game seven. Little Boston, L.A. action. They signed Victor Oladipo. No, they traded for Victor Oladipo. They got Malik Monk. I don't know what the heck this team is nowadays. But they made it to the finals. They went game seven in two out of their three series. Detroit got all the way to the conference finals with... Oh, because they got Kawhi. <laughs> Kawhi and Cade. I like that. Game one is the Lakers win. I feel pretty confident about this one, though. Game two is the Lakers win. Brian and Westbrook, they fighting for their finals MVP, boy, I tell you. Oh, Brian probably took it with that 49-9 game. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Brian got it. Brian's finals MVP. Yep. Regular season MVP, Russell Westbrook, finals MVP, LeBron James. What a W. Hey, listen, I ain't say it was going to be hard to do this. I just told you we was going to do it, and we did. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.
Peace.